champions in this light heavyweight division enter the former champion at a Grand Rapids, Michigan, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. A lot of people were excited when he came off of Dana White's Contender Series and won the title. The first Contender Series alum to realize UFC gold. Were it not for an Achilles injury sustained on the basketball court, this man would probably still be the champion. But he has gone through the rehab. He has gone through the recovery and believes he has come out the other side a stronger version mentally, physically, and emotionally. Only time will tell, but a big spot for Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill tonight. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. heavyweight title fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This will be first fighting out of the blue corner. Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. And now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go with round one action. We'll see how Alex Pereira chooses to proceed. He is going to have the striking advantage against most of the men in this division, and that is likely how he's going to choose to attack tonight. Leg kicks are truly the stuff of legend, and he doesn't throw it full force, just touching that lead leg, and oftentimes all it takes is one to change the complexion of the entire fight. Nice shot there by the champ. You can't bounce around with him. You gotta get it, get in his face and try to take the fight to him. You see, he's trying to get the timing down to set up that counter, but just misses there. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Padeda. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good straight hand there by Pereira. 
Just over three minutes to go. Nice leg kick. Close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked to try to find that shot again. Good jab there by the champion. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's doing that jab. Sweet dreams. Hill's limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. Where are your hands? Throwing that jab, no good. Under a minute now to go. Lands a nice jab there. Oh, big elbow. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, my goodness. He's hurt bad. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. So there is the horn, standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Near knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful Ready. that he can get it back together Ready. before the start of the Good. next round. All right, round two. Jamal Hill gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. <laughs> Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. And doing work with the jab. different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Swing and a miss with that punch by Pedeta. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. They're so... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. 
Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Slips. Oh, and there's... Oh! Another one! All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Two rounds in the books. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lunges forward with a left there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, this one could be over soon. Okay, he's in half guard. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Hill gets up. Stop to look to finish him now. Evil intent. He is trying to break his oh. leg with every single kick. What a round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Yeah. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the fighter. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space. So that he Sweet Dreams Hills kick block. Oh! So a a little bit stuck, oh, holding on to him now, not doing the time, just looking to recover. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Push kick there to the body. Oh, back and forth we go. No surprise, the crowd pops. Oh! He's out! Alex Pereira gets the finish! Yo! Wow! That was nasty! decision it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Holotov. I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far he's come in such a short period of time. Now, the result is a surprise because that's what he does. He knocks people out. But the fact that he's continued to do this as he goes up the rankings, really impressive.